All right, so we're actually going to try to shoot a little bit of bonus footage. I'm walking back to Tower Grove Avenue. You may, may remember that's where Vincent Van Donut was closed down there. We're going to try to walk down Tower Grove Avenue toward... I don't know what direction it would be, but toward that direction in front of us. Reminder that today is February 26th, 2023, a Saturday. Now exiting the Grove area. And we're walking, I guess what would be considered sort of southbound, just on the map. I'm going to guess that it's southbound and I'm trying to think of my trajectory going that way would would be eastbound I think because the Mississippi River and downtown is toward that direction and just thinking of this you know looking at the United States of America map Bridge of Hope. Now, if I would have gone the other direction, which would be back toward the train station that I came from, you would have seen eventually Forest Park and the extravagant Central West End neighborhood. This is one of the things we learned too. A lot of the, almost all these streets in Missouri have these rows that are specifically dedicated to like where people's garages would be because they really don't have driveways like I would think of in most other places I visited. Instead of, it's the concept of like no driveways, but those back alleys. Right now it's about 2.03 p.m. Central Time. The sun has now been clouded over and the wind has picked up a little bit so that makes it a tad chillier than it was when i first started filming things around the grove This is more of some urban exploring and a little bit less structured because you see I'm just like walking in general neighborhood type of spots. There's no retail businesses. I'm also trying to get a better mental perspective of the location of some of these neighborhoods like we came from the train station i know that above that would be the forest park central west end neighborhood but below that is the grove park then even further below that we're going to be getting toward the missouri botanical gardens which should have a very pretty shot on the exterior 
And then now that I think about it on Google Maps, I guess that wouldn't be too far away from uh, the neighborhood of the hill, that Italian restaurant place. Let's see, Woodward Lofts. And then on the way to the Missouri Botanical Garden, there's a place on the map that I saw called Union Loafers Cafe and Bread Bakery. It has 4.7 stars from 938 reviews. They close at 3 p.m., so timing-wise, I should be able to make it. But I'm just hoping maybe I can go in there and see if they have a pastry. Because it looks like they do have like a full cafe menu, and online it even looked like they had bread, breaded pizza. One of the things I'm trying to do better at when I visit places is try more of the food and restaurant places because I think those help leave a lasting impression good or bad This is a long intersection, so I definitely want to be cognizant of when the light changes and also don't want to go out blindly because I've seen certain intersections in cities where sometimes they give like cars free access to turn. But the good thing about that is any turning cars would have been behind me. But the ones I'm referring to, sometimes believe it or not, there's like curved streets where they're actually would have been turning into you from there. Let me see, make sure if I go left of this bridge or right. Okay, this is still Tower Grove Avenue right here. That's where I want to go and stay on. Just to give you a little perspective on the map, I try to do this a little bit more often now. This yellow area here is the Grove, where it says 13 minutes. Blue dot there is where we're at now. Down here is the Missouri Botanical Garden. Over here is the hill. And then, remember, this was the Grove. The tr train stop that we took was up here. Central West End with all the mansions and nice shops is here. And then Forest Park, which is bigger than... Uh, Central Park in Manhattan and has all the museums is here And the museums in Forest Park are free Now the one negative is and I, I still got to keep track of this is some of those museums are again Maybe like closed on a Monday or closed on a Tuesday So I have to look at that in, in the event. I want to check any of those out in the coming days but it's also tough because it's not like, especially if it's bigger than Central Park, it's not like you can just go there and say, oh yeah, I'll spend an hour here. That's like a big commitment if you want to truly explore everything. And the downside is, because we're in winter time, Forest Park, the park itself, probably is going to look very, you know, dry. There's no, no trees that are going to be illuminated.
Okay, we should be getting close about a block away from is a running niche store. It's interesting how like once we got to this spot here you went from having no businesses to almost like a small congregation of liveliness Is this the place here? This says loafers. Union loafers. Over there is something that says meat cheese. I'm gonna check the map again. Oh yeah, it is, so Union Loafers Cafe and Bread Bakery. Yeah, so let's go ahead and see if they're still taking orders and what they have. Okay, so it's only a partial win. They didn't have any cookies or pastries in there. I don't know, I think it might have been because they were sold out of the cookies. Pastries, I guess they don't traditionally sell, but they did have this baguette, which I decided to get. I'll take a bite of it after I cross here. Here we go. <laughs> I know normally you'd have it with butter, but I'm just trying to have a little bread snack on the go. But it tastes good, they said they make it fresh daily. Now we're passing underneath one of the highways. And then we get to the other side. I think the botanical gardens aren't too far away. We may have to walk a little bit to get to the picturesque front portion though, from the exterior. At least for this, that street there on the other side of the highway. Very different feel to the houses. But even with that said, 
this should be one of those roads again where it's just nothing but the garages. Yep. I kind of laughed to myself a little because I wonder if any cars or people are driving by looking like how often are they going to see a guy like me got a Cleveland hat on. Although it may not be so evident because the C, some people could think the C represents Cardinals. But I have a camera in my hand and I'm eating a baguette. <laughs> That street looks pretty interesting with the houses. I may have to walk down one of those streets once I capture the botanical garden. You can see also the bike riders taking advantage of the bike lane. public entrance. So it's saying the public entrance is that way? Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put this baguette away and then I'm going to check Google Maps so I can figure out where exactly I should go for that picturesque thing. Here you can kind of get a glimpse of some areas of the garden. So I actually was headed in the right direction. I mean, it may not be where the public enters. By the way, you got several more bikers coming here. So from looking at Google Maps, the really cool picturesque thing is a little bit up ahead. The downside is you might not be able to see it from the sidewalk, meaning you'd have to pay a ticket, a $14 admission, to get a glimpse of it. But we'll still see. And then I do, like I was saying, want to check out some of the neighborhood. I'll probably walk down a few of these streets back and forth on the left. It looks like you're getting even bigger with the houses the further south we go. Oh, we kind of get a view. The best view would be when you're like straight on to that globe in the background. Here we're just at an angle, so you can't quite get it. But see that like big globe, if you were straight on, it's supposed to be nice and picturesque. 
let's continue a tiny bit further. Maybe we can get a better shot on the other side, because I think the center part, even though it says Missouri Botanical Garden, it's like gated off. So I don't know what that building is even used for. This would be like the center straight on shot. So what we want is, would ideally be on the other side of this building, right in the middle. Maybe this used to be sort of a entrance for someone, I don't know. Yeah, that's the best we're going to get, I guess. What we'll try now is we'll scoot across Tower Grove. Let's go down, I guess this would be Florida PI Lane. Flora Place. trying to think what the best way to walk is because this is a long street so I don't want to go like down both directions you can see like that dog walking group actually went in the middle I think what I'll do is I'll walk along this right side here That way we can see some of the, what I consider to be pretty large houses. I had noticed the lens looked like it was getting a little blurry, so I just wiped it for a second there. Be interesting when I play it back to see if it's any clearer. Since it seems pretty obvious if traffic is coming, I'll walk a little bit in the street here so we can see the houses from a little bit more of a distance. This is kind of interesting. You see how they have like the one horse on a stand there, but then up the tree here, they have all these horses as if they're climbing toward the top. I wonder what the whole theme of that is supposed to be intended for. Now, unlike those other places I was talking about earlier, these places do have driveways. Tall trees lining the street, too. I picked this side because the other side at least the first several had a similar theme to them, like the dark brown and then maybe the green ro roofs. I like the brick color on these, these ones a little bit more for my taste.
Let's try walking in the grass like several of the groups are doing here. Now this is a different look than the houses I was looking at in Google Maps on Central West End. So if I get the chance, like I hope to, to check out that area, it'll be nice to compare. I like the St. Patrick's Day dinosaur over there. And then we won't go all the way down, because that looks like it would be a bit of a walk. But let's just check out maybe like one other street to take us back to Tower Grove. We've got our choice of Russell, which is this street. Yeah, we'll try this one. This one, again, has a unique flavor to it compared to like where we just were. And it's like that the whole way going north and south. Or sorry, east and west. What's kind of funny is my brother was scouting certain neighborhoods in St. Louis just on Google Maps to see what they look like and so many things seem far and spaced out yet I picked the one spot where everything is like right on top of each other. I'm going to check on Zillow because it's always interesting to know when you're in an area like what the value is estimated for locations. So let's see here. Zillow and I'm going to do the map view. So take a guess in your mind what Zillow estimates these places to be on Russell. Now, I don't see any up for sale right now, but it seems like they range between 250 and 
350,000. Now the previous street that we were on, they had the bigger houses. Those ones seem to be anywhere between 375 and 600,000 depending on the location. Even some listed for 800,000. Now that's central west end area. I'll have to find some of the spots there. Do a comparison. You know, when you look at central west end, those ones seem to be more around the range of 900,000 to 1.1 million. This must be a popular biking route. Believe me, when I cross a street like this, <laughs> I'm definitely looking both ways, like where there's not even a car anywhere in sight. Like you can see down there, closest car was way behind the bridge. We'll go ahead and try one more thing for this video. We'll make a left here at Shaw. And then it should be roughly a 15 minute walk to get to the hill. And to reiterate from earlier, it won't be a place where you see like, oh yeah, there's a one block that consists of six Italian restaurants. It's more of, at least from what I gathered from Google Maps, there's a Italian restaurant on a corner, then you've got some houses. Then on the next block there may be another Italian place and then there's a bunch of signs they have the red white green colors that say the hill this is the public entrance here for if you're actually driving to the Missouri Botanical Garden But it's not that picturesque thing that I was referring to.
I always like to try to test cellular, cellular signals here if I were to attempt a live stream. So I do that randomly in certain spots. See, the download speed is usually good everywhere. But the upload speed is what I care more about. If the upload speed is like around 40 or higher, then I feel pretty confident that I can do a stream. When it's around 11, I'm like, nah, I'm not going to even try it. If it was 30, maybe I would. But really anything less than 30, I just opt to go with good old pre-recorded videos like you're seeing right now. The reason being for that is if I'm going to put like the time and effort in filming a video and doing like all the walking associated with it and the commentary I don't want to look look back on the final product and it's like buffering and choppy and then feel like oh man like I wasted all that opportunity to showcase a neighborhood something unique up ahead here I don't know what it is but there's like caricatures of animals outside on the patio what in the world is this <laughs> Gringo Jones imports. Like, holy cow. <laughs> Life size buffalo bull in aluminum delivery is possible, $3,500. You can see they do have price stickers on these things. Like this statue here, $450. This eagle, $2,900, I think. Yeah, $2,900. Old St. Louis Cardinals sign. This is the type of thing I like love stumbling into. Like didn't even think this was here or know this was here. Now I'm gonna stop and take some pictures. So again, fascinating. It does say building for sale spring summer 2023. So I wonder if that means they'll still be here. This place is maybe under development but it says the bug store now let's see where what direction I'm going for the hill I think I'm supposed to be going straight here yeah I'm just gonna go straight Southwest Garden neighborhood, probably because of the botanical garden. See, all the donut places are closed. World's Fair Donuts. Not that that one was as known as Vincent Van Donut. But it, uh... That place is also closed. This parking lot over here says it's for the Missouri Botanical Garden, but... I don't know, maybe it's just not as populated in the garden today. It looked like that other lot that was right up to it was being used more. Yeah, we're going to continue this way down Shaw. 
we could take Vandervelt, I believe that's what that is, Vandervelt Avenue to keep going and also intersect with the hill, but this direction seems to kind of take you near one of the beginning portions on the diagonal. I'm going to try to walk a tad faster since we're in a dead zone, so to speak, meaning there's really nothing to see here. Well, I can see at the next intersection some of the signs that start saying the hill. This is King's Highway Boulevard, or South King's Highway Boulevard coming up. <laughs> 